Today is the peak of hurricane season, and it is unheard of to be here and not have a name storm. In fact, when you look at the past 75 years, there's only been nine times on this day, September 10th, that there hasn't been a name storm. So what's going on? If you think of the tropics or hurricanes or tropical storms as a car or a vehicle, I think this maybe helps you. So for a car to go, you need a good car, you need good tires, you need fuel, uh, you need a battery that's going to start the car. So you need all these ingredients for that car to go. Well, the tropics and hurricanes are similar. There's a number of factors of why it's so quiet and why it's been quiet the past couple of weeks. First of all, the Atlantic Ocean is uh, dry for the most part and stable. Uh, strong wind shear out over the Atlantic and they're sinking air over Africa. So when we look at uh, the continent of Africa, you've got this big area of high pressure. So that sinking air creates fewer tropical waves. So there's not as many tropical waves that are moving out over the open Atlantic. And then when you look at the open Atlantic, you have below average tropical moisture. So of course you're over the water. So you are going to see uh, some moisture, but in the main development region, region it's uh, it's below average. You got a lot of moisture up closer to the United States, a lot here, a little closer to Africa. Uh, but in the area where storms start to develop, you're just being moisture star. There's just not a lot going out there. Here's another interesting little thing that's going on. This is what's called a tut. The past two weeks, this tropical upper tropospheric trough has been in place just to the south of the southeastern United States. Without getting too much into this, what this does is it creates a tremendous amount of wind shear out over the Atlantic Ocean. So what you're seeing with this red color, that is high wind shear. And you see that pretty much over the entire Atlantic. There's a couple spots here and there. But what tropical systems need is they need from the surface of the ocean all the way to 5,000 feet, uh, you want the winds to go in the same speed in the same direction. What wind speed, what wind shear is, is you're having opposing winds. And what that does is it rips storms apart. So it's really difficult in a high shear envir environment for a storm to form. Now there is a small 20% chance uh, that a little tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa uh, can form over the next 20 days, or excuse me, over the next uh, seven days, a 20% chance of that. But this is fascinating when you look at this stat. Since 1950, going back from August 29th to September 16th, so six days from now, basically an 18-day window, only 1992 did not have a name storm since 1950, and we may join that if that little system that you're seeing there does not form.